We have just seen a crocodile in the wild and he was four meters long. We are in far north Queensland exploring the wonders of the Daintree Rainforest and the Great Barrier Reef. In our last vlog, we had just made it to Cape Tribulation. Today, we are heading out on two different boats with two very different experiences. Australia, you have done it again and absolutely blown us away. We are going to be hunting down one of Australia's deadliest animals, something we have never seen before in the wild. Danger, large crocodiles seen in this location. But first, we will be sharing with you a place that has become our favourite location on the whole of the Great Barrier Reef. We're James and Alex. We travel full time, ticking off places around the world and sharing with you our experiences in each place. We have some super exciting destinations coming up in our vlogs, so stay tuned. Where are we going? We're going snorkeling. Watch out for the crocodile, Alex. I actually can't believe they're making us go in here. <laughs> They don't let me go out there much ever since the accident. You'll, you'll come back one day, my son, no worries. <laughs> Australia, you have done it again and absolutely blown us away. So we are now in Mackay Reef and we've come here with Ocean Safari and my god is it beautiful. <sighs> it's like the Maldives, the water is so clear. Lost, it speaks for <laughs> Lost for words. We are literally on this little sand cay in the middle of nowhere with reef completely surrounding us, 360 degrees around us and we are on a high right now, so I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> That's not baby shark, that's, <laughs> that's big go, crocodile. Go see some crocs. Baby croc. Do, 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 do. So rumour has it, on the beach at low tide in Cape Tribulation, there is a resident crocodile who makes an appearance. And apparently it's a bit of a big one. So we're going to try our luck. It's about half past one. So the creek comes out and meets the ocean. And apparently at low tide, that's where the crocodile is going to be. So fingers crossed. We see him. So we are heading south towards where we believe the creek is and it's just another example of how beautiful the beaches are here. They're all just palm tree lined, quite rough and ready but absolutely stunning and we always feel like the sea is such a tease because it looks so blue and so gorgeous but obviously it isn't recommended to go swimming even though we can see somebody in there right now. Not sure I would do that. Oh, shade. Shade. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that looks like a walkway, right? Definitely this way. Yeah. Oh, I can see footprints. <laughs> and only human footprints, <laughs> which is always a good sign. Don't speak too soon. Okay, so at the moment there's no crocodile to be seen and it is low tide. I don't know if we have to go a certain distance down this way. So we just spoke to a lovely couple who were walking back towards us. And they said they walked about 200 meters this way and didn't actually see the crocodile but said apparently he was here yesterday maybe we're not lucky today or maybe the crocodile is there but we just can't see him and apparently it is a him <sighs> it does say crocodiles inhabit this area attacks may cause injury or death 
Keep away from the water's edge and do not enter the water. Unfortunately our hunt for sea crocodiles in the wild continues because we weren't lucky enough to see one today. People do say come here at low tide, which we did, so we might just have to come back tomorrow if we're still in this region. Otherwise we might be forced to go on to a tour, which is not the end of the world. We were just hoping to see one just like on the side of the riverbank, but apparently it's not that easy. So I think you're considered pretty unlucky if you don't see a crocodile in the Dane Tree. And so far, we have seen zero crocodiles in the Dane Tree. So we have decided to go on a crocodile tour. I'm so hot right now. We have decided to book onto the 2 p.m. tour with Cape Tribulation Wilderness Cruises. They seem to be one of the only ones that operate locally within Cape Tribulation and it was only $35 per person so we thought that was pretty reasonable for an entire hour out on the water and even if we don't see a croc, obviously fingers crossed we do, it would still be awesome just to have a cruise down the creek and learn some things about the local crocs and the Daintree National Park in general so super excited. It's another hot one today, as you can see, very sweaty, very sticky, so we will be drinking lots of water and keeping the hat on. <laughs> it does say stop. Wait here. Crocs passing. <laughs> Apparently they look like this. <laughs> <laughs> so just see how it goes. This morning was good, yeah. That is huge. Look at that tail. That one was Guys, our time in Cape Tribulation has now come to an end. We don't want to leave. <sighs> we are super sad to be leaving, but we are so happy that we did manage to take some time to come up this way. It's probably the furthest north we're going to come, but we're so happy we did. Cape Tribulation and Daintree National Forest in general isn't just an amazing place in Queensland, it's an amazing place to visit within the whole of Australia. And there's a reason why the Daintree National Forest is one of David Attenborough's favorite places on this planet. One day we will make it back here again. So we hope you like this vlog. Please don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Bye for now. So this is our last <laughs> opportunity, or our last real opportunity to pick up all the necessities that we will need to be prepared fully prepared for the Northern Territory. Can you see the sweat? Right now. Right now. Stupid stones. Snap my hands. <laughs> These are my favourite pairs of flip flops. Oh no. I know. Any last minute croc spotting? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Sweet <laughs> ball. <laughs> Attempt number three at trying to see the crocodile in Cape Tribulation. And attempt number four. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Horses have just trailed through here and it stinks of horse manure. <laughs>